Today on Sugar Spun Run, I'm sharing a very simple tutorial on how to melt chocolate chips. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I am so excited to be sharing a super simple, but carefully tested, well-researched, and perfected recipe. I guess this is really more of a how-to than a recipe, so let's go ahead and get right to it. Today we'll be melting our chocolate chips in the microwave. The first thing you're going to need is a medium-sized heat-proof mixing bowl. For me, this is a glass mixing bowl. I will go ahead and link to the ones that I use all the time for everything in my kitchen. And you do wanna make sure that this bowl is completely clean and dry. If there's any water in the bowl, this could keep your chocolate from melting properly. It could cause it to seize or become gritty or grainy and just unusable. Seizing is actually one of the biggest problems that people run into when they're melting chocolate in their microwave, especially chocolate chips. So I'm going to be showing you how to prevent this. Now today I'm just going to be melting one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips, but this technique will work with just about any type of chocolate chip. I've also used it on white chocolate chips and butterscotch chips. Now the main thing to remember when melting chocolate chips is that you just want to go nice and slow. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this over to the microwave and we will heat it for 30 seconds. Now I just do this on full power. I do not use 50% power and once it's done heating, even though it looks like nothing has happened, I'm going to take my spatula and I'm still going to stir the chocolate. Now, if I turn this, you can see there is a little bit of melted chocolate smeared on the bowl. You can see it's smearing on my spatula. So something is happening. So now we'll take this back to our microwave and we're going to heat it again for about 20 to 25 seconds. After that time has passed, once again, you're going to want to completely and thoroughly stir the chocolate with your spatula again. Any melted bits that have formed on the side of the bowl, you wanna scrape those in right back in with the chocolate chips. All right, now we're going to take this back to the microwave and heat it again for about 20 seconds. Now you'll probably notice that each time I'm returning this bowl to the microwave, I am heating it for a shorter amount of time. That's because it is so important that we do not overheat our chocolate. If I leave it in there for too long, we run the risk of seizing the chocolate. Again, it'll turn all grainy and lumpy and will become unusable. So we wanna start heating it for shorter amounts of time to make sure that we are not going to cause it to seize. Now I'll continue to use 15 to 20 seconds until I get to a point where the chocolate becomes more melted than it is solid. So here I'm almost at this point. Now I wanna make sure I'm really thoroughly stirring the chocolate at this point. I'm also using my spatula to kind of smash the chocolate chips against the side of the bowl to help encourage everything to combine really well. Really, I want this chocolate to spend as little time facing the heat of the microwave as possible. So right now I'm just using the heat from the melted chocolate chips to help continue to melt the rest of the chocolate that is still in solid form. Now I do feel like this needs a little bit more time in the microwave, so I'm going to return it to the microwave for 15 seconds. Now at this point, there are only very small solid pieces of chocolate chip remaining. So I don't want to return to the microwave. I can just go ahead and stir those in and they should melt just from the heat of everything else that's in the bowl. And of course, each time we are making sure to thoroughly combine everything and scrape the chocolate off the sides of the bowl and scrape the sides and bottom of the bowl really well. All right, now that we're finished, we have a smooth and silky bowl of melted chocolate. Now I do want to note that this is not the same thing as tempering chocolate. It is possible that your chocolate, even after being melted this way, will end up with some white streaks. If you're looking to avoid those, what you really need to do is look up how to temper chocolate properly. Chocolate chips are not ideal for tempering, but if you were to try it, you would want to use an instant read thermometer and make sure that your chocolate does not exceed a temperature of 91 degrees Fahrenheit. It should be between 87 and 91 degrees to be in temper. That being said, I love to use melted chocolate chips without ever taking the temperature for dipping strawberries or drizzling over peanut butter eggs or anything that calls for melted chocolate. Today I'm just going to be dipping some strawberries so you can see what it looks like and I'm going to let this harden so you can see how the chocolate looks once it's firmed up as well. And you can see this one dried nicely. It's not as shiny as tempered chocolate would be, but this also doesn't have any chalky white streaks in it either. I'm perfectly happy with this. It's a nice, easy way to melt chocolate. I hope you guys enjoy today's super easy technique. If you try this one out or if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I always love hearing from you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.